Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing this evening? Woo! Lord, what do you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say right now to your people this evening? Oh, Jeremiah 19. Man, look like a solid photo to me. Jeremiah 22. Look like a solid 11 to me. You already know how we be. <laughs> We're going to run that jump. No. I, I was just talking to my daughter earlier when I said. And she know it too. You always find a way to tickle me. Now, somebody just got a hold to me. And I ain't seen it in a couple of days. And they was talking to me. And them joints, actually, they tickle me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, God, he works very mysteriously. You know, like I said, I, I don't even not stop questioning him. Because it, it's some of the stuff... I don't even want to know the answer to it no more. You know what I'm talking about? I had butterflies trying to land on me again while I'm outside chilling. And, you know, I, I stopped doing that. I ran, ran me back in the house, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like deals on me and stuff like that. Man. But I was back in the house. And I do this right here for y'all. And... I was in a prayer session online, but then something hit me to where, I ain't gonna say something, I know that was God. He hit me and he said, get off of there, you know what I'm saying, and go pray, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, you know, I'm being obedient. I go pray, you know, to myself, for myself. Cause we all have to pray for ourselves too, you know, as we pray with others and pray for others. But uh, as soon as I got done doing that, I came back to the prayer session online and it immediately got dark outside and it started storming. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about when I say it started storming, it started cutting up around this joint. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, woo! So, you know, people on my street, they ain't had no power. And I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? My stuff's still lit. You know what I'm talking about? I go outside and look around after the after effect. You know what I'm saying? And everything intact over here, but I look down the block and there's trees down and you know what I'm saying? Stuff flipped over, flooded. I'm like, Lord, Jesus, you was with me. You had me in your eye. You protected me. Because I got a, a tree in my yard that like cannot through the roof if it wanted to, you know what I'm talking about? And I've been asking them to cut that joint, but, but you know, the city act funny. And I'm just like, Lord, I'm thankful, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't need no problem. You know, I've been trying to do the right thing. Not even trying, I've been doing the right thing. And uh, he, he just looked out for me again, and that, that, was, a, that was a blessing. Anybody that wouldn't see that as a blessing, I don't know what's wrong with you. You, you always think about material for a blessing, but you know, any little thing like that is a blessing. It was a blessing for us to wake up this morning. Say I'm lying. But love, let me get into it. You know how we do it. it says Because they have forsaken me and have strange this place and have burned incense in it unto their gods whom neither they know who neither they nor their fathers known have known nor the kings of Judah and have filled this place with the blood of the innocent you know that's that's how idol worshippers do you think about it. You hear uh, this new generation. 
which it came and stemmed off the old generation. I ain't even gonna lie. But, you know, a lot of them talking about, you know, killing and doing all kind of craziness to each other and all that. You know what I'm saying? And the, the people under them, they idolize that. You know, like, oh, I'll be the boss, I'll be the king if I did this and did that. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that's not the way. That shit in blood of the innocent. I had uh, my son tell me that he was talking to a classmate or something like that. And they were outside. And a car rolled up on to that other classmate. They just got here. And they were about to do something to him. But the teacher happened to be there. And I'm going to have to say this too. Shout out to y'all teachers. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's righteous. You know what I'm saying? The ones that stand upright. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that do their job in a loving, caring way because they want to see another kid succeed. But yeah, you know, the teacher say that boy, I believe, because they said, oh, yeah, we'll catch up with you later. And I'm just like, you know, that ain't none of my business. But I pray about it because, you know, my, my child was right there. You know, now I, I will go strum clay, strum, strum, strum crazy. You know. Ooh, I had to release. We were fighting with a little warfare earlier. And, you know, I keep it a buck. You know what I'm talking about? I'm so glad that I don't deal with that situation no more. But the other sad part is that I had to be connected to it because of my children. But there's another plus. My children are almost grown. So, you know, I'm going to be out here on my own when they get ready to leave and be gone. You know what I'm talking about? I really ain't going to have to deal with that no more. And I thank God that, you know, he done did me how he did me, you know, I question him why, but ain't no use of me doing that because he don't do his will in my life anyway. So that's why I be saying, have your way, you know what I'm saying, and that's what he's doing. So I'm just going with the flow of it. When you reach that point to where you have to question God because the person that I hadn't talked to in a, in a little bit, they came and asked me questions. See, I, I have people be coming and asking me different things, you know what I'm saying? And I don't put that out a lot because, you know, out of respect to them, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's just sometimes it's not necessary. But it's, it's crazy that... I end up being the person that's handling that and, and changing a perspective on things, on how things are going in their life. As I try to tell them, you know, when you get into the Bible, you can really literally start to see, you know, your life unfolding in there. You know, how he has me grab these scriptures is something different than most, but it all makes sense in the end. And I thank him for that. You know, I, I never would have thought it would be like that. But it is what it is. And I'm just going to continue to do what he want me to do. Woo! And it says, For thus said the Lord, touching Shalom, the son, of Josiah, king of Judah, which reigned instead of Josiah, his father, which went forth out of this place. He shall not return thine anymore. But he shall die, yeah, we run in the joint, in the place 
whither they have led him captive and shall see this land no more. And you know, the enemy will get you in a situation to where you feel captive to yourself. You know, it don't necessarily have to be that, you know, somebody will physically grab hold to you and held you against your will. You know, because they can try to do that to you spiritually and mentally. You know, I had a, uh, an apostle and a pastor, both, tell me, hey, you know, when you get ready to get on stage and do this, you know, have yourself a vocal point to address and I'm like everything is a vocal point you know what I'm talking about and you know I had uh, another bishop say to me and to others you know you never stop learning and that's that's the truth you never stop learning that's why I said this is plenty of vocal points, you know what I'm saying? It's all about which one you want to pick, but I, I don't do like normal people, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot of supernatural things be happening to me, and, you know, it'd be a lot of things that I can't explain, and then when I try to explain it, you know, people look at you funny and, you know, want to try to take you for a joke and try to downplay what you're talking about, or, you know what I'm saying, or want to outdo you. And what you talking about. And I just, you know, I fall back from it and let them have it. You go ahead, have your way. You know what I'm talking about? Have your way. I'm going to let God have his way. And. Woo, this is authentic or nothing. It's joining a little bit long, but we're going to carry on. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to run that joint a little bit more. It says. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by of righteousness and him and, and his chambers be wrong that useth his neighbor's service without wage and give of him not for his work and see I go through a lot of that there too you know what I'm saying but I see it differently because you know, I had a monk, probably about, I want to say this was like 2009, and I used to call him, you know what I'm saying, I used to call him uh, Ken Wu, and see, I didn't know what Wu meant back then, you know what I'm saying, uh, it means devil, and, you know, he was cool with me, you know what I'm saying, he chop it up with me and everything, but then when I bust out and say that, you know, I didn't know I was disrespecting that man. That's why I said learning is earning, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But listen, you know, and then for a long time too, I didn't know that he was a monk. You know what I'm saying? He he kept that covered up, but he didn't, he he broke it down to me one day. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't he wasn't the one that told me that that meant devil. I ended up finding that out on my own elsewhere. But uh, you know, it's funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's funny how things unfold and play out. You know, he 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 taught me a lesson there, there. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I didn't know that he was a monk. I just knew that he was a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? Cool old dude. You know what I'm saying? And this was at a time where I was still at a crossroad in 2009. You know, 10 came along, 11, 12, God hit me upside the head with the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And, and then it, it just rolled into this right now. You know, this is authentic or nothing. And I'll holler at y'all in the morning the great eye opening. Later on.